It's confirmed, Momoko is in as the third member of Baby Metal, which I know is slightly divisive news for some people, but I think this is a really great day, really good news, and we're going to get into breaking it down right now. Hi everyone, welcome back to Japan, where yes, it is April Fool's Day, but this seems to pretty much be the truth. They didn't do it in the morning, it was in the evening at the PIA, I don't know if we're supposed to pronounce that PIA or PIA, th th that venue's show. We got to hear about the new member being confirmed. It is Momoko Metal. Like I said, this is kind of a divisive thing because I know there's a lot of people I was reading on Twitter who still very much, you know, yearning for the days of Yui Metal, hoping she was going to come back. I did a whole video about this previously where I talked about the difficulty of replacing Yui Metal, but also why I think that sometimes people have a lot of attachment, which I totally understand. I was a big fan of Yui Metal as well, but I think it's good to see the band moving in a new direction. So. If you want to hear more about my opinions on that, you can go check out the video that I did talking about this before this whole announcement came up. But today we're going to be talking about the new addition, Momoko Metal, which I think is really great news as I say. Now looking at it as a band perspective issue, I think it's fair to say that I had commented a few times about the fact that I think the really babe metal needs to be a free piece. I do like the fact that we've had this um, whole period with uh, Moa and Sue and seeing what they've been able to do together. However, it's kind of true that Sue's always been very much up front. She's got a very powerful voice and as great and fun as Moa is, it didn't really feel like it was the best dynamic as a duo. It certainly always felt better when you had that whole thing of Sue at the front and then kind of like the black babe metal thing of the two at the back working together teamwork now we've had kind of five years to get used to Yui not being there and it's kind of one of those things where although we've settled into what we've got now I think a lot of people would agree going back even without Yui to the original design of having Sue at the front and then having that duo at the back you know supporting her even the fact it looks good on stage to have them in that sort of triangle formation it just kind of all seems to be the way that the band should have been and I'm really glad that they've gone back to this kind of setup so the question is really, why Momoko? I think the first thing we can say, and I think this is being slightly overlooked by some people, it really does need to be said, Momoko has earned this position. Oh boy, has she really earned this. Now, I was doing a little bit of Google reading, just sort of catching myself up with a few details. Of course, she was originally a member of Sakura Gakuin, which I'm sure you guys, if you're watching this, know is the group from which Baby Metal originated. So she's, you know, come from that same stable of singers and talent as Baby Metal did originally. So, you know, it's not like she's just coming out of left field. And on top of that as well, obviously, we've seen her in recent years performing with Baby Metal as part of the whole Avengers program. And, you know, it's been nice to here on stage she's been in a couple of videos that have been doing the rounds and yeah we've kind of got used to seeing her with the group however clearly she's just settled in I'm sure that when they chose her it would have been something that would have been discussed not only with the management who are very careful to curate the whole baby metal machine and make sure that it is the right thing moving forwards I'm sure they've got tons of people working in management and marketing and all kinds of experts who would have probably almost been personality testing her to make sure is she going to be a long term prospect is she going to gel well with the others but as well as that I'm sure they were talking to Sue and Moa and this would have been a big discussion I'm sure no one took this lightly and given the work that she's put in I there there's no way that I can't imagine this having been anything other than just sort of discussed and you know, just it definitely would have been something that everyone was happy with and I can kind of see that as I say she's definitely been putting in the work she's definitely from the same place as them I'm just sure she's got the right mindset the right attitude she's been training up for it it's almost like she's already been a member of the group so I'm just excited to see her now finally officially confirmed because in a way she's been feeling like she was the third member for a while i mean when we've been having discussions about who do you think the third member will be if it's not yui because i've been saying for a while i didn't think yui was coming back um and i think everyone was kind of saying well it's surely gonna be momoko right so i think we all kind of knew this was coming and she's definitely been sort of in that position and so this more feels like they've just been kind of just confirmed it really at this point so looking forward to the future of the band, really, in a way, I'm kind of excited to see where this goes sonically. Um, now, obviously, we've had the most recent album come out, and this now means they've had two albums as a three-piece, two albums technically as a two-piece. I thought it was interesting they left this announcement after we'd all had a chance to hear the other one and get used to that. 
so you know her announcement as a member has happened after the other one and i think that we're now looking at a position where this kind of sets us up with the knowledge that when the next album comes out it's going to be very much an album as a three piece i did say at the time i think that the other one which i'm going to be doing a track by track review of anyway i've already reviewed most of the tracks as they came out but i'll be reviewing the other ones as well sometime soon um i did say that the other one to me felt almost like they were trying to re-establish their sound whereas the first three albums all did something surprising even the first one was a surprise <laughs> we first heard the band um this felt like them re-establishing their sound after a little bit of a hiatus um which is the perfect place now to bring in momoko and so i'm interested to see what happens to their sound moving forwards obviously we bring back that dynamic of having a much more clear definition between sue standing front and center and then the kind of support sound i liked how when they announced the um new band lineup of course they were talking about um the singing and dancing of sue and then both moa and momoko were described as screaming and dancing which is interesting they kind of got like a little bit of the screamo but also a little bit kind of like a preppy peppy sort of shouting backing vocal they kind of do any vocals that fit in in the background i feel so um well, that that was certainly the vibe that Ma was giving and certainly when it was Ma and Yui so I think that's where Momoko's going to fit as well they're just going to be like the colour that fills in the spaces behind Sue and occasionally obviously moves to the front I don't know whether we'll get a uh, uh, a re-emergence of this like, sort of black babe metal thing I certainly would like to hear some songs that were only Momoko and Ma that would be really cool to hear as well I'm sure they won't use the black babe metal name as that might rile a lot of old fans but I'd like to see them have like a new little moniker for that as well um I'm interested to see what they do with her. Now, obviously, they're not going to shake the, you know, shake the boat too much. They don't want to cause too many people to feel that her presence, you know, if her presence, maybe, you know, the next album isn't so popular, but they don't want people all blaming it on Momoko. So I get the feeling they're not going to have, like, sudden, suddenly some massive change of sound. And obviously, we've just had the other one, so it's not like we've got another album just about to come out. But I think it will be interesting to see what developments come along and what she brings to the sound. Um, but certainly, I am happy at least for the fact that this is going to have is going to add that feeling of having three voices in the sound and three very good and different voices. I should point out as well. You look at what they did in Sacra Gakuin. These are three singers who have very interesting and different voices from each other. So certainly, looking forward to seeing what they do with that. It could be so many things. One of the things we like so much about Big Metal is that you never know 100% what they're going to do, but you always know they've got enough writing staff, enough talent enough interesting like tools to work with that there's always going to be the best made of the um the the things they have to hand the tools they have to hand artistically creatively talent wise yeah so in conclusion for me this is just really good news i'm really excited to see it i just so much think that she's earned it i so much think she's wor uh, worked for it i think this is just her being confirmed into a position that was you know hers to take and that she'd really sort of already set out for herself through hard work i'm just really glad to see it i'm glad for what it means for the band i'm glad for what it means for her um if you want to hear my feelings about the whole yui thing who like i said a big fan of yui as well but um my whole feeling is about you know yui or momoko i did cover in the previous video i'll try and remember to link that below um however in this particular case i just think this is good news and i think it's also nice because we're moving forwards this could lead to something interesting and different but also whilst remaining within the paid metal formula so as always get in the comments below tell me what you think um i hope that a lot of you are excited I, I know that a lot of fans have been saying things about oh how you know either it goes back to the way it was before or when i'm not a fan anymore and that kind of thing and um I hope that people are happy for the growth of the band. I hope that people love and respect the two thirds of the band that never changed enough to, and also the hard work that Mamoko's put into at least give them the time and the the respect to listen to what they do next. Because whether we like it or not, it's definitely going to be worth listening to. And personally, I'm really excited for it. So tell me what you think in the comments until I hopefully see you very soon in Japan for the next one at least for now. Ciao, ciao.